Hello there, Ali here from Sports Templates, and today I'm bringing you guys a new NBA jersey template featuring three different colors and four different views. This template comes with the front view, the three quarters view for the front, the back three quarters view, and the back view. And in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to take this NBA jersey mock up and create this cool New Orleans Pelicans jersey concept. This concept is matched with the old New Orleans Hornets logo to make it fit the Pelicans. And this is based on a designer on Instagram called 94 Feet. It just linked his Instagram down in the uh, description below. And make sure you guys go to his account and give him a follow. So to get started, I already created this little library here to help you go through this design. It includes all the graphics and the colors you might need in this tutorial. And I'm going to be linking it down below so you can just load it up into your Photoshop while you follow me uh, through this tutorial. To get started, we can go to Jersey Editable Parts, go down to Torso, and hide the smart object for the torso design because we're only going to have a red torso here. So we can just hide it, select the torso layer, and just click red. That's going to apply the color. Now, the second thing is the side design. And for the side, I'm gonna add something they, they had in their own, in, in some of the old jerseys for the Pelicans, and which is this cool design element here. So you can just grab it and make sure it's centered like this. Then drag it down here, hide the grid, and make the background red as well. And let's save it. Let's zoom in to see how, how it fits here. Maybe we need to push it a little bit to the left so we can just go back and push it a little bit to the left. All right, looking good. One more thing we need to do here is to go to the back side and make it red, then to go to the back design which is the inside of it here double click open it and then you have this vector graphic here which comes with the nike jerseys i've included it here it's a vector shape so you can resize it or change it however you want but we're just here to change the back color here so we can just make it red as well and save it like this now one more thing i added is this little tag graphic so you can just go to the color here and go down to label label tag color and if you go to the smart object you can go here hide the grid and do a red and for that maybe we can do like a nike logo on it or you could put your own designer logo just to just to make the design look more Customize a personal. All right, then the label, we can make it red. Then we have the, the back stripe here. So we can either add a design or not. I'm just gonna remove it for now and just make it white. So usually whatever, when I'm doing these designs, I never go full white. So I always do like kind of off white like this. This is pretty much the basic color of the jersey. Now we can move on to the collar. So with the collar, this is the first time I'm doing this because I wanted to make sure we have a perfect mapping of the color. So whenever you add a design, it's gonna perfectly match the curve of the color. The same thing here with the sleeves. This is why I ended up breaking the smart objects into a few. So it's gonna look as realistic as possible. So whenever we're gonna do this, we just need to do it on three, four different sections just to make sure it looks uh, perfectly okay. So let's zoom in so we can see what we're doing here. All right, so we can just go to color left side here, double click, load it up, and that just hide the grid. And then you have a three stripe option and a two stripe option like this. So we can just open it like this, do the inner one, gold and put the dark blue or navy on the outer one 
now saving it we can see how we did here looks good so we can just keep doing it for the rest of the sections same thing here gold navy and save pretty much doing the same thing again right look good now we just need to do the back of the color here so doing the same thing and that's pretty much it for the color now moving on to the sleeves we can just go to the sleeves folder here and start with the right top sleeve opening this up hiding grid three stripes two stripes then doing gold navy and gold then we can save it doing the same thing here as well it's pretty much doing the same thing for all the sections of this leaf so again putting gold on the outside navy on the inside and save And doing the last one and now we're done with the sleeves and the collar now what's left is adding the graphics on the chest here and to do that we can just go to we can close these up for now and then go to embossed logo slash graphics and scroll all the way down to here add your design here double click and let's turn on the background so we can see a little bit better and now let's line up our designs. So we need the Nike logo here. Let's, let's put it around here. Usually Nike logos on the jerseys are a little bit on the bigger side. So just line it up here. Uh, and let's get this New Orleans logo and put it somewhere around here. let's hide the team name and the number here because we're gonna add our own we're doing Zion Williamson and so we're doing number one for him let's turn on the guides so we know where the center is and so line it up a little bit like this then let's hide the mock Nike logo here I've also added the patch so you can you know the patch that comes with the original jerseys but I used dummy logos just in case so we don't have any issues with copyright so I just made a dummy NBA logo and a dummy Nike logo here but you can, it's all editable so if you go to patch all the shapes are live tech you have live text and vector shapes so you can resize it make it bigger or smaller however you want it and you can change everything on this on this patch it's in this patch folder so now that i think it's pretty much done we can just hide the background Control s to save one thing i'm not liking is this white band here i don't think it fits so we can just go back to the color here and go all the way down to back stripe color maybe make it navy or maybe a lighter shade of navy just to kind of make it appear a little bit different now this template comes with three different versions of the collar so we we have the wishbone collar like this you can turn it on and off so after you are done we, you can add any type of collar you want and 
we have also the v-neck color i think we're gonna do the v-neck color for this one because we just started with the round one and i just thought that the v-neck might look a little bit better so i'm just gonna speed through this section because it's pretty much the same thing i did for the round color so through the magic of editing i'll be done in a few seconds And that's pretty much it for the color. Now, one last thing I like to do here is change the background color. So we can just go to background, BG color, pick the same red we have here and change the text in the background to new Orleans Pelicans. And we're pretty much done. Before we wrap this video up, I just wanna zoom in to show you the level of details on this template you can see how the logo is showing on a different material it looks like as if it's a patch on top of it and it features a different material than the jersey uh, material under it uh, we have the same thing here for the patch you can feel that it's kind of like on top of it and it's not the same material um, and also here you can look and see how everything is made down to the finest details of Nike jersey they use in the NBA. One last thing you can do to make this jersey pop a little bit more is you can scroll here. You have two options. We have edge lights and dynamic lighting. The edge lights, if you turn it on, it just kind of emphasize the lights on the edges of the material so if you for example like when we have a similar color in the background it's gonna make it's gonna make sure to separate a little bit more and give it that extra depth and 3d look so you know you can see how when we turn it on and off we just have harsher lights on the edge and you can always control the intensity of these lights with the opacity slider so if you just want softer lights you can drop it down and if you want harder lights you can drop it up i think somewhere around 75 is a happy medium and but if you wanted different kind of lights you can just go to dynamic lighting turn it on and then pretty much control where the light hits the model this is a feature we have on our templates and you can just control the light and how it reflects on the jersey so once you use the hue saturation slider here you determine where the direction of the material is you can just go to the channel mixer one and determine the intensity of the light so for example if we drop in the green here you can see that the light becomes a little bit less intense you know with the blue we can add more spread to the light with the red we can just make it kind of creep back into these crevices and folds of, of the jersey so for let's say this is the extra lighting we want you can just save it like this and you can see how it applies onto the jersey if you need another source of light for example if you want to emphasize another light you can just easily just go here new smart object via copy and now we can just pretty much go here change the direction of, of the lighting and play around with it a little bit and save this and now we have a different layer just adding a different kind of light to it so you can do this as many times as you want until you get the exact lighting you like on this template but for now i'm just gonna go with this main one and drop the capacity down to like 20 25 I think that's pretty cool and this is pretty much it for this tutorial you can do the exact same thing with all the different views with the back view three quarters back view for three quarters front view they all have the exact same features and they're all coming in 7k resolution so you can use this for print or web or your jersey design presentations or just to build out your portfolio and make some really cool looking jersey concepts to get people excited about your design skills if you like this video, please leave a comment and like so we can get back to you with more stuff. And you can always follow us on YouTube, Facebook, Instagram. We're posting new content almost every week. Thank you for watching. See you guys on the next one.